Greetings YouTube, today I will be doing a quick review of a knife that I got as a gift. Uh, I will do my best to uh, link the characteristics down below, however I wasn't able to find all of the information on this knife. So yeah, since it was a gift and there was no serial number, however, let's get right into it. This is a knife from Tramuncina. A Brazilian company and it comes in this nice leather sheath I'm not 100% sure whether or not it's real leather but uh, considering how well this has stood up I'm willing to say that it, that it is real leather and it was definitely hardened somehow and yeah it has been studded with these things here and the sheath is quite nice and it has a belt clip and you just pop this here that holds the knife in now so this is a gift from my dad and he said that it's a knife mainly for camping uh, you're gonna have to excuse the scratches this was one of my first knife that I practiced sharpening on and I went way too much sideways and I scratched that up and ruined the nice mirror finish so sorry you have to see that but I did learn how to sharpen in the end without ruining my other knife so it was worth it now this is not a full tank construction even though it's a fixed blade knife and it looks kind of like a fighting knife due to, due to it having a guard in things but yeah, I would not consider this any type of tactical or fighting knife, especially with this thing here, like it took out so much material, this blade is already cut in half basically. I do not like it when people do these things on knives, I don't care what the reason is, you just made it a lot weaker. I can actually snap this thing with my fingers now, I actually felt it crack. But yeah, it, it's maybe forgivable since it's a uh, you know it's not officially at least fighting knife as far as I know it's just kind of made in that style uh, you can see here since it has this that it's definitely not full tank and I don't I'm not sure of the blade steel but you can see that this thing will not rust anytime soon because it is chromed out this definitely has a high chrome concentration which for those of you who don't know is basically the thing that you can add to a steel to make it resistant to rust corrosion basically obviously there is diminishing returns if you add too much like you know hardness brittleness i'm not exactly sure how those work but if you have above 12.7 percent someone can correct me if I'm not exactly on the money but 12.7% is the threshold that you can make a steel stainless by adding chrome to the composition now I already told you what I don't like about the knife it's mainly this thing now the fact that it's not full tank or full length tank should be more precise doesn't really bother me as much as this thing here it makes the blade weak uh, this hole right here, well, it is done towards the top so it doesn't weaken it as much but it's still not the smartest idea <clears throat> it has a saw since I ended up talking about features anyway I do think this can work as a mini saw but honestly just use an axe like or whatever you're trying to saw with this you can probably break it uh, over your knee you might not want to do that but you know I don't really like saws on knives I'm not a fan of it they don't really work especially not on a knife as small as this you can see from my hand that this will not cut a piece of wood that's really that big and if you want something that will chop just get a heavier knife like the Smith & Wesson I reviewed that thing I said I didn't really like it because uh, the blade heft but uh, if I wanted a knife that's kind of like a mini axe well 
the Tanto blade at least does the work. I'm not sure about the clip point. That's more of a combat oriented variant. And okay, I did try to sharpen it. So after my skills improved slightly, other than making it uh, ruining the finish, basically, how did I do? Or how did the blade steel also do? Because I haven't resharpened this in a while. All I did was a few strokes on the honing rod and it used to be able to cut paper quite well. Let's see how the edge retention is. I'm not expecting that much from this since it's not an overly expensive knife. I'm not sure how much it is since it was a gift, but my dad said it wasn't anything overly pricey. So let's check how it cuts. Damn, actually... It actually cuts well after I learned how to sharpen things, but to be fair for this heavily chromed out blade steel, I'm surprised it held an edge this well. It's very satisfying actually. Okay, it does. I think that's just the edge getting pieces of paper stuck on it. So this is just standard A4 printer paper, you can see it cuts it, but the last one I tore that apart because I'm gonna back off a little bit and try to show you a bit better that it does cut quite well. So I hope you can see it, you can see it clearly in the camera, sorry about that, that was my fault. So yeah, it cuts quite nicely. Sometimes it gets stuck a little bit. But that might be because the more you cut, uh, some of the paper gets stuck on the edge. This happens when a knife is pretty sharp. It does get dirty, so you need to kind of just very carefully clean this off. And now it will probably cut very easily again. Yeah, it does get dirty the more you cut with it. I really do like the sheath. The sheath is super good for a knife like this. Now, I would use this for camping, but honestly nothing else. And even though it looks kind of... I don't know, <laughs> scary for uh, cutting your tomatoes knife, it's actually best suited for that. I would not do any knife throwing with this because this is just gonna snap off and this handle is gonna break quite easily. It is really comfy though, like the handle is actually comfortable because it has these grooves that aren't really big but for my relatively small hands uh, I can grab it quite easily so it's a good one now how, how would I rate this well honestly as an improvised cooking knife this is a 5 out of 10 um, but overall since people try it uh, kind of I don't know I get the idea that this was meant to be a tactical uh, combat ramble type of stuff but they overdid it with the extras and under delivered in durability which is a mistake that you can see quite often so overall I would give this a 4 out of 10 because it would just uh, not be fair to give this anything more 